Good morning, y'all. Good morning, and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoplop. Happy Tuesday, y'all. Happy Tuesday. So I'm on today with a couple of quick shout outs. Um, we have a couple of interesting things going on in our community, and I thought it would be useful for us to know that. Uh, the first it thing is, Dina, this mama loves Disney, has made the cutest Mickey Mouse lollipops ever. I'm going to link uh, her video down below. Now, they look pretty simple to make, but that said, sometimes Dina does a project that sometimes I look at, and I'm like, well, that looks easy enough, but when I go to do it, it's not so easy. But it's basically Mickey Mouse lollipops, adorable, made out of pipe cleaners that she learned how to make the lollipops from a friend and then created them into Mickey Mouse ears. Now, I have asked Dina for a tutorial. I don't know if she'll do it. I hope so. Um, but I'm going to link the video down below because if you like Disney, these are super cute. And when I was looking at them, I realized they could be turned into Halloween ones and Christmas ones like so easily. And while we're all thinking about the holidays and we're, you know, gearing up for the holiday crafting, I was like, Dina, these are genius. So I'm going to put a link to that down below. I also think that many of you doing the Adopt a Newbie Swap want to go check out um, Green Tea Design Company's finale video. And I'll tell you why. She does a wonderful thing. If this, if you're fairly new to YouTube and swapping, she does a packaging up. So she shows you everything she's made for the swap, but she shows you the packaging, like how she's putting it together. And for those of you who are newer to swapping, it's a great video because you learn very quickly how to package up a swap. And I think that's a really useful video. So I'm going to put a link to Tammy's video down below. Again, it's, it's not only a reveal of her finale of everything she's made in the series. And by the way, that was a great series, like a really great series, but it's actually how to package up a swap. All right. So that's useful. Um, I ran into a bit of a glitch. Have you all been having this problem? So sometimes I click on a friend's video and it says this video may be inappropriate for some viewers. And well, I don't have any kids at home and I'm over 18. So it happened today with Soleil's video and they wouldn't let me view it. So I don't know if you all know how I work around that. It's happened a couple of times to me before, but not enough for me to raise it here on the channel. Oh, today I wanted to watch Soleil's video. Why is it inappropriate? And anyone who knows Soleil knows there's nothing inappropriate in her videos. So I just thought this was very odd. Uh, if you have a workaround, please leave me a comment down below. I have great news. So y'all know I told you about Gracie's Place and how she has like really beautiful kids. So after I said, you know, I'm really disappointed that she stopped shipping during COVID because I loved two of her kits and I told her I would order one if you were shipping. So the next day, Gracie let me know she was going to restart shipping to the U.S. And I was like, I don't want you to put your health in jeopardy. Like I felt really badly after that. I was like, did I make her put her health in jeopardy? Because the reason she wasn't going is like why I'm not supposed to go to the post office very often, right? Well, this kind lady... Folks, I, I ordered the Peter Rabbit and it's on its way. So I want to draw your attention. She has a new kit that just came out today. I'm putting a link to the video down below. If you're a shabby or a vintage maker, oh my goodness, you want to go see this kit. Even if you're not, I, I'm telling you, you probably want to go see this kit. It's called Vintage Ladies Afternoon Tea Kit. Y'all, it is so pretty. It is so pretty uh, and so unique. Because again, what Gracie does is she makes so many elements herself that you're never going to find this anywhere. That's why I love her kits. They're, you know, uh, everything is just so well curated, but it's also handmade. So I'm going to put a link to that down below. She is now shipping to the U.S., y'all, which is amazing and very kind of her. All right, so for the Maggie lovers, Fresh Bouquet is out. And you all know that it's only being pre, there's only pre-order status at places like a cherry on top. So it's hard to see the collection. Uh, Alicia Love Letter Generation has a project share up today, y'all, a tag flip that she has made with a lot of fresh bouquet. Now she doesn't have the full collection yet, but this gives you an indication of the collection. So calling all Maggie lovers, if you want to see fresh bouquet in action, I'm putting a link to Alicia's video down below. I'm not sure that this is a collection for me. Uh, again, I, I think I like older Maggie, and I'm learning this. I, I like Maggie a lot for prints, but I like older Maggie. I, I'm not as much of a fan of newer Maggie. But this one does have a lot of florals like Open Book, 
and it does have butterflies and birds. So it's kind of a departure from what we've seen lately. So I, I think it's worth checking out Alicia's video. One, because the tag flip is super cute. And two, it'll give you a sense of how you can use this collection and what it may look like. So I'm going to link that down below too. Uh, I want to say that uh, I want, you know, it's so funny because I called Deanna and Deanna. So when I was listing our collaboration, I listed her under her old name, her old proper channel name and not under Dee's Crafts. And that's just because in my head, she's already Deanna. So I just want to let you know that that D, I can't even say it anymore. DL667 is really Dee's Crafts, y'all. Um, and it's just because I call her Deanna and I used her old channel name and not her new one. Uh, but I'm very excited she's part of our collaboration team. I really am. She's become a very active member of our crafty family and, and over like the last six months. And so I was thrilled. I was thrilled that she wanted to participate. Um, that's really my update video for today. Yesterday was very much a departure for me. Y'all know I don't do the phone, right? It's just not my favorite thing in the world. It, it usually drains me, usually. But you want to know something, y'all? Yesterday, I had the most joyful day. Now, my day started off with a phone call from Alicia Love Letter Generation. And I have to tell you, it made my whole day. Oh my goodness, is her daughter a gifted artist? That's all I'm going to say. I'm hoping she may be doing a video at some point of her daughter's art. It's going to blow you away. And it's all done like with watercolors, like hard to use mediums. It was really impressive. But it was also just joyful to talk with her. And I finished up my night with Miss P, who is doing better. She, it's not an easy process. So when I report she's doing better, I just want to say she is not pain free. She's not in the clear, but she is doing things again. And I think that's inspiring. Those of us like this week, I was forced to stay on the couch and I almost lost my mind. Like I wasn't allowed to die cut. I wasn't allowed to clean. I, I mean, it was making me insane. You know, what was really nice was to have a conversation with someone else who understands that and how it can make you just feel horrible about yourself. Cause you're like, why am I just sitting on the sofa? And I, you know, it was really nice. And again, I, that friendship was born out of a mutual love for community and it's now become a friendship. And so when I was, I've sort of struggled this week with the doctor's rules and it's only one week y'all. P, P had to do this for three weeks, right? And I was on her little tail, just like Susan Titsy Tucker and Dina. We were all on her to make sure she did not hurt herself and carry everybody. And so I only had to do it for a week and I gotta tell y'all, I almost lost my mind. But it was really comforting to have a friend who understood that and didn't think I was being ridiculous. You know, because when I tell some of my other friends, like my childhood friends, they're like, I'd love a week on the couch. And I'm like, yeah, you think you would, but you wouldn't really. So thank you, Pete. I felt much better after our chat. I really did. Today, folks, I am allowed to do cleaning and crafting in increments. So I, I haven't gotten much done in the last week. It's to no discredit to my doctors. It's the opposite. They're calling every day and I should be grateful for that because, you know, look what, what happens in other places where doctors are non-responsive. My doctors, I told you, are not warm and fuzzy, but they're super professional. But they have literally called me every day and not one of them, but a bunch of them. So I have found my days eaten up by activities that I didn't plan for. So forgive me if I'm not on much today and maybe part of tomorrow. I have some tidying I need to do. I have some projects I need to finish. I mean, I got a whole bunch of things to finish up and I haven't had a moment to do it. And I want to get them in the mail, y'all. I want to get them in the mail. So I'm going to take my time to do that today. I wanted to send out the video to our collaborators yesterday and I ended up not getting to it because of other things. So I am going to get that video out to um, that email out today and I apologize. That is going out today. Um, but the rest of the time I'm going to devote to crafting and tidying, y'all. So forgive me. Um, I know I'm a little bit behind on comments. I'm going to wait. I'm being checked. My eye nerve is being checked again on Thursday. It's still got scleritis, y'all. So I'm still on limited commenting, limited viewing, limited reading, limited texting. Just bear with me till they solve this. Just bear with me. I will eventually get to all your comments. I always do. Thank you so much. I'm wishing for you a very happy and crafty day. Please go and check out these amazing videos I'm listing. They're really remarkable. 
you don't want to miss Dina's pop lollipops. They're perfect for our upcoming seasons. They really are. They could so easily be made perfect for Halloween or for Christmas. And uh, Tammy Green Tea's finale video is fantastic for learning how to package up a swap. You don't want to miss Gracie's vintage kit. I'm telling you, it's it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Um, and for those Maggie lovers, fresh bouquet, Alicia Love Letter Generation. I'll put it all down below, y'all. Wishing for you a happy and a crafty day. And I'll see y'all either later today or tomorrow. Bye for now.